In this video we are going to talk about 10 craziest space missions. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. We've walked on the moon, roved, Mars, and even launched a probe into interstellar space in the last 50 years, and those are just the successful missions. Many unusual projects have been suggested by spacefaring nations throughout the years, and the vast majority of them never make it to the launch pad. We've chosen some of the most absurd of the bunch to give you an idea of how crazy some of these projects are. So, without further ado, here are six of the most bizarre space missions ever proposed. Number 10. A Blimp on Titan. The Cassini spacecraft provided humanity its first glimpse of Titan, Saturn's largest moon. It is the only moon in our solar system that has been discovered to contain an atmosphere, and scientists believe it could even be home to life. NASA offered a range of potential designs for future flights to Titan, including the Erever Blimp, a compact helium-filled dirigible. Every one or two weeks, the Zeppelin would circumnavigate Titan with three propellers. Erever would be around 33 feet long and 8 feet wide, or, roughly the length and height of a stretch limousine, as JPL bizarrely indicated. The plan asks for a small inflatable wheel around the bottom of the blimp to cushion it when landing on a variety of uneven terrains and to allow it to float in liquid methane oceans. According to JPL, the concept is still being considered, so piloting a remote-controlled blimp someplace in space is still a possibility. Number 9. Nuking the Moon. During the Cold War, hysteria and seemingly limitless military funding resulted in some of the most odd space projects. The successful launch of Sputnik in 1957 plunged the U.S. military commanders into a frenzy. Because communist world dominance was the logical next step following the achievement, the U.S. Air Force felt it needed to salvage face by flexing its own muscles, and the only way to do so was to bomb the moon. If you can't defeat them, irrationally nuke something anything, as the expression goes. This initiative, codenamed Project A119, was kept a secret for over 40 years until Leonard Rifle, a physicist who worked on it, revealed the mission specifications, noting that the Air Force desired a mushroom cloud so big it would be visible on Earth, at the time. Cooler heads eventually prevailed, and the Air Force retired its nuclear weapons, focusing instead on more practical goals like as placing humans on the moon. Number 8. An orbiting battle station. As previously said, during the Cold War's zenith, the world's two superpowers were fairly trigger-happy. Both sides were devising a slew of ingenious techniques to vaporize us as a species. These super-advanced killing machines weren't limited to a full-fledged conflict on Earth. Just in case, the Soviets were developing a space station with an onboard cannon. And, unlike many of the other ideas, this circling war station was really built and launched into space. The Solyut-3, an early Soviet space station, was equipped with a 37-pound rapid-fire cannon capable of firing more than 5,000 rounds per minute and hitting targets about 2 miles distant. However, there was one fairly odd design error in the overall design. The astronaut had to maneuver the entire 20-ton space station to target the rifle. Fortunately, the Cold War came to an end without any full-fledged intergalactic gunfights, but the Soviets did fire the cannon at least once. The Soviets remotely fired 20 shells just before the space station was slated to de-orbit in 1975, all of which were believed to have burned up in the atmosphere. Number 7. Mars Defense Force. Did you know that the United States Marine Corps spent 20 years on Mars? At least, that's what Randy Kramer, the self-proclaimed super-soldier, has declared. He was allegedly inducted into a military force known as the Mars Defense Force after completing his training, MDF. MDF was a multinational effort set up by several nations to protect five developing Mars colonies. Kramer was sent to the moon after his tour of duty on Mars, where he finished the remainder of his tenure. Number 6. Triple Planetary Flybys. Both the United States and the Soviet Union were interested in manned flyby missions of Mars and Venus in the 1960s and 1970s. Such flybys were possible for the United States thanks to upgraded Apollo mission hardware. A four-man Mars flyby was proposed by NASA's Joint Action Group, JAG, in 1966, which would leave Earth in September 1975, arrive at Mars in 1976, and return to Earth in 1977. A triple fly, opportunity involving both Mars and Venus was also noted by the team. 
This hypothetical mission would launch from Earth in May 1981, fly past Venus on December 28, 1981, boomerang around Mars on October 5, 1982, and fly past Venus once more in the spring of 1983 before landing on Earth on July 25, 1983. Unfortunately, nearly four decades have passed without manned flybys of either planet, despite these lofty ambitions. Maybe that will change in the not-too-distant future. Number 5. Solar Warden. Solar Warden is a secret space program that is tested and operated from secret military bases such as Area 51 in Nevada. It is said to be made up of U.S. Aerospace Black Projects contractors. Not only is it classified by the U.S. government, but it also operates under the authority of the United Nations. Gary McKinnon discovered the program when he hacked into U.S. Space Command computers a few years ago, calling it the biggest military computer hack of all time. He could face up to 70 years in prison if convicted in court, but he couldn't because he'd have to reveal classified information. Within Solar Warden, McKinnon discovered eight cigar-shaped motherships, one of which was lost in an accident in Mars orbit while attempting to resupply the multinational colony. With the exception of Mercury, we have visited all of the planets in our solar system from afar. We've successfully landed on Pluto and a few of its moons. Personnel from many countries have sworn an oath to the world government on these ships. Back engineering alien disk wreckage provided the technology, which was sometimes aided by aliens, according to McKinnon. Number 4. Massive, Moon Buggies. NASA tasked General Motors with designing a series of manned lunar vehicles to better navigate the lunar landscape, and the mobile laboratory, MOLAB, was a 1965 prototype. The closed cabin MOLAB was a beast of a rover, measuring 20 feet long and weighing more than 4 tons. The pressurized vehicle was intended to serve as a geological laboratory, with two astronauts able to stay aboard for up to two weeks. The rover could travel at a top speed of 21 miles per hour and had a range of more than 60 miles. The vehicle featured a modified Corvair engine and was so large that it would have required a Saturn rocket to launch it to the moon. NASA eventually abandoned its plans for a lunar monster truck in favor of a slightly slimmer, more practical moon buggy design. We also got a sneak peek at this badass Mars rover concept recently. Number 3. Probes to Distant Stars. Alpha Centauri is 4.37 light-years, 26 trillion miles, away from Earth. Nonetheless, Project Longshot involved sending a probe to our nearest celestial neighbor. The vehicle was to be assembled and launched on site at the space station. The probe would then travel through the galaxy for more than a century before arriving at its destination, thanks to a fission reactor. Project Longshot, as one might expect, was a long shot from the start and never received funding. Voyager 1 is currently our best hope for reaching another star system. The spacecraft will be closer to the star AC plus 793888 than our Sun in about 40,000 years. Make a note on your calendars. Number 2. Project Moonshadow. This next wacky space program sounds like something out of a sci-fi film. Project Moonshadow was a MyLab, military abductions, program that was created to develop genetically enhanced super troops. Here's how to do it. The project's creators genetically modified embryos from the ground up before implanting them into unwitting female hosts. They'd then be sent to the moon to take part in training sessions aimed at bringing out their hidden powers. Number 1. Secret Pentagon Space Program Driven by Fear of China The Trump administration recently conducted a conference to assess the growing threat that China and Russia represent to U.S. space systems. According to Forbes, meeting attendees were told that Beijing and Moscow were developing counterspace capabilities in order to prevent the United States from achieving military victory in future wars and severely harm the American economy. China was found to be the source of the majority of the threat. What the U.S. intends to do in response to this threat remains a closely guarded secret. The Air Force, on the other hand, has revealed that it is working on rapid prototyping of next-generation missile warning and shielded communication satellites. What are your thoughts on our video? Which one of the above you think was craziest one? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.